To begin, select the client list from the My Files drop down arrow. And once on the client list, select the Import Clients option from the top right hand corner. Next, simply provide your class super username and password. And select Remember Credentials for this session if you wish Audit Flow to store your username and password for this session that you are logged into. Then click Connect. On step two of the import process, select the appropriate business as well as the appropriate brand, noting that if there is only one brand, this will automatically be selected for you. Here, we're able to select which funds we wish to import, either being individual funds, or by selecting the top tick box to select all funds. When ready, click Import to move to step three of the import process. On step three of the process, you are then provided with a summary of the results of the import, including those funds which we've identified as being similar in your existing client list, funds which were created as part of the import, and those funds which were skipped because they have previously been imported. Referring back to the similar funds results, for each fund that has been identified as similar, you are required to either link and merge, create a new client, or simply leave it, resulting in the client from class not being imported. Exploring each of these options in further detail, the first line in our example here, we have the ANF Super Fund, which is pre-existing in our client list, and the fund which has been identified as similar is the ANP Superannuation Fund. As we can see, these funds are clearly not the same fund. Therefore, what we will be required to do is simply create a new client to ensure that the ANP Superannuation Fund is created in our client list. Simply click Create New, and as we can see, the AMP Superannuation Fund has now been created and is now listed under the Created Funds list. Next, the remaining fund being the TDQ Superannuation Fund, we're able to quickly and easily compare the full details of these funds by clicking the Compare Full Details button, which will provide us with all of the details of each of the funds. Here, we're able to quickly and easily compare the client name, address details, trustee date, and other salient information to ensure that we are able to accurately determine whether this is the same fund or in fact a different fund which requires setting up. Presuming that we have determined that this is in fact the same fund, we're then able to link and merge the two clients. Once you have worked your way through all of the similar funds, simply click on the client list tab at the top to return to our client list. At any point in time, you are able to filter the client list by those funds which have been linked to Class Super. Simply select the Select Filters option, select Client Type, and identify those linked with Class Super. As we can now see, only those funds which have been linked to Class Super are now displayed as indicated by the Class Super icon on the right hand side of the client. At any point in time, you are able to access any of these clients and view the client details which have been imported from class by simply clicking on the client, where you'll be prompted to import the details from class. Simply click the import button, where previously we have stored our credentials, you are now able to simply click connect, and all of the details have been imported from class, including fund details, such as the trustee date, jurisdiction of the trustee, deed type and so forth, a list of the trustees and their joining dates and address, as well as the members. To refresh the details of any client, simply select the drop down arrow next to the class super icon and select re-import from class. This will refresh all of the details for the client and there are also prompts for this through the Create New File menu, as well as the Roll Forward menu. At any point in time, we are also able to drill down into the Class Super Client by selecting the drop down arrow again and selecting View This Fund in Class Super. Here we'll be redirected to the Class Super dashboard with the fund details being displayed. To finish off, Whenever you wish to refresh your client list to import any new clients, you simply go through the same process as before by clicking Import Clients, 
selecting the appropriate business and importing all of the funds. As we can see here in this example, all of the funds which have been previously imported already exist, therefore no new funds have been imported.